how to fix HTTP status code 416 error on PlayStation 4. Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. I am Bimo from Genie Guide and in today's guide video, I will show you how you can fix HTTP status code 416 error on your PlayStation. But before we get started, as always, if you are new to our channel, do make sure to leave a like, hit the subscribe button and without any further ado, let's get started with today's video. Now, this kind of error usually happens whenever you're trying to download games from your PlayStation or maybe you're trying to sub um, update some kind of games or maybe you're visiting some kind of websites on your PlayStation. The issue is not with your PlayStation but with your internet connection. So this kind of error happens when your issue is with the internet connection. So the very first thing I would simply recommend you do is to simply head over to your settings. Once you go to settings, you'll find this button which says network. So as you can see in this case, you have this option which says network. I will simply tap on the network button as I tap and go to network you can simply select set up internet connection and instead of using your normal Wi-Fi which you might be using right now what I would recommend you do is to simply use a LAN cable for example if you have a LAN or Ethernet cable you could connect that from the port of your router directly onto your PlayStation or to your TV and once you connect it your PlayStation will get the internet connection direct directly from the LAN cable and hopefully that would fix the issue then you could come back and also simply change and test your internet connection and it could take a while to check your SSID, obtain your IP address, your internet connection, your sign in as well as your entity type, your connection speed and connection speed download and upload as well. Hopefully one of these would have helped solve the issue. The other thing what I would also recommend you do is last but not the least, if none of these solutions are actually working for you, I would recommend you to go to initialization. Once you go to initialization, you could go to restore default settings. Now most of the times this would fix the issue and if your default passcode you just need to go ahead and then simply choose your default passcode and restore the default settings. It's simply like resetting the settings and not the data itself. Hopefully one of these would have helped solve the issue and if it did help solve the issue make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and if you have any more questions, queries or doubts simply also make sure to leave them down below. Thank you very much for watching till the end and see you soon in our next video.